The plan is to put the motor back in and get it running. That's the plan. We'll see if it works. Well, we pulled the motor out of the Model A pickup a few weeks ago. I sent that over to Mark Godfrey at Wayne's Engine Rebuilding. They've rebuilt the motor and it's time to put it back in. And we're gonna put it in. This is a nice truck. I don't think there's gonna be anything wrong with it. I don't need to pull the whole truck apart. We pulled the motor out, it's rebuilt. It's time to put it back in. We'll get this thing running again. car we pulled it out because this car had been sitting for so long the heads actually the water in the, in the engine itself ate holes through the heads and leaked water into the, some of the cylinders so we pulled it apart we replaced the heads uh, basically the entire rotating system inside the motor has been replaced the motor was had one sleeve put in it but uh, it dynoed out at uh, 428 horsepower which is way more than we need for this little light truck. So the first thing we can do is get rid of the old tires and just spin them off. <laughs> I don't know that this is good. Yeah. Should be able to go up and just turn right into that. We gotta put the bolts on. Tighten that up and put the motor mounts on. Just want to wipe the motor mounts off and put a fresh coat of black paint on them because they're raw metal and if they do sit outside, they'll end up looking rusty later. High tech paint. The plan is to put the motor back in and get it running. When I pulled this motor out, I had pulled all the heads off of it, and I was able to lift it up and turn it sideways to get it out. So what we're gonna do is I put this piece on that'll allow us to pivot the motor. We'll turn it sideways, put it in there, drop it down and turn it and get it in position to install it. That's the plan. We'll see if it works. I'm imagining these are going back towards the, uh... no, those are, Looks like 9 sixteenths. Yeah, it has to go that way because the stud comes yeah. through here and the nut goes on the back side. Yep. Those are 7 sixteenths, don't you think? The bolt size? Oh, the bolt size. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Getting the motor mounts in place. 
Once the motor mounts are in place, then we've got motor mount bolts that Roger's over there polishing. Once everything's in place, we can go ahead and start sliding the motor in, in the engine compartment and see if we can get it to fit without pulling the radiator shell off. Our biggest issue right now is it's a real tight fit. When I pulled the motor out, I had all the heads off and I was able to rotate the motor and get it out of there. I'm gonna try and put it back in by doing the same thing, drop it down, rotate it, and get it in position. If we have to, we're gonna to have to pull the radiator out. I'm trying to avoid that to get this done a little quicker. But if we can fit it in there without pulling all the heads off, I don't wanna pull the heads. I'll have to pull the radiator. Hopefully, we can just slide it in without doing that. Where have those old days gone? When we used to jump on a freight train. Jump on a freight train day by day. Uh, we won't be able to fire it today, but eventually, yes, we got a bunch of stuff to do before we can get a hook up the whole fuel system. I got to put the whole motor back together. At least we'll get it in there today. Let's see if we can get this thing in here. Once we get over the fender, we can rotate it. Now spin it. You're hitting the front. Maybe we gotta go sideways again still. Go lower. Um, get it down lower inside that hole. So, you want to turn it? Or you want me to go up with it? Well, if we can get that, well, we gotta get past that. We're probably better off if we pull the fan off. We gotta go down. Down and back. Several inches here, we can lean it this way. Push it to the left. Jump on a freight train day by day. We can go down a little bit now. some old bedroom heading to a new town. There we go. I got that motor mount in. Okay. I'm gonna drop it down a little bit. Back a little bit. It's probably caught. See how it's caught here? Yeah, we gotta get those pins lined up. Well, I'm excited. We actually got this motor in without having to pull the radiator shell and the radiator out. So we've got it bolted up to the transmission. We'll get the uh, flywheel and torque converter all bolted up together. I can put the pan back on that and I can start assembling the rest of the motor. And then I got to get the exhaust back on and pretty soon we can fire it.